Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to the Star Trek Legacy campaign missions. Uh, it has been a month since the last video, actually just over a month. Um, we have not been in the campaign for a while, so we are here to pick up where we left off. The last episode of the campaign had us with Captain Archer on board the NX-Class Enterprise, where we fought the Romulans in their gigantic fleet... Um, and we stopped them cold in their tracks in their mission to poison the Alpha Quadrant with whatever sort of toxin they were using. But we know that Terrell, I believe her name was, uh, was behind it. And we lost track of her. She got away. So it is now up to the next generation of Federation officers to track down Terrell. And so we are now in the original series era. We have the USS Enterprise Heavy Cruiser Constitution class. Let's get a look at that. Also, we have, of course, the 11 mod on as well, which gives us these ships like the Kelvin, um, the Federation shuttle here, the sounding class, the Kelvin Mark II. So these are available to us as ships we can use from the 2009 movie era. Okay, I think I can actually scroll twice here. I believe the first option is the M5 unit governed vessel, and the second one is the actual Constitution class, I hope. And so this is the Constitution class for the Ultimate Universe mod, so that is what the Enterprise is. We still have our NX class ship, our Yorktown class, and our Confederation class ship, and we have 4,852 command points we can use. So I think I may want to spend some time uh, removing all of my vessels and then purchasing new ones, because these are now outdated. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what should I grab? I could grab a Federation-class battleship. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Uh, we can grab a Proxima-class battleship. And again, this is the Ultimate Universe mod take on the Proxima-class. I don't prefer it over the original Star Trek Legacy version. I've said this <laughs> about every time I see it. It's still, a good, it's still a good model, don't get me wrong. I love the impulse configuration. I love the nacelle configuration. Everything looks cool, but it just doesn't have that same sense of enormity that the original model had. Also, there's a distinct lack of windows I'm seeing on the saucer and on the secondary hull, or I could just be blind. I guess we'll see when it's actually in space. We have 5,600 more points to use, so what can I buy? I can buy another... Um, let's buy another Constitution class, just because I know people will love it, and, well, because I love it. We have 1,500 left. Let's work on refitting our ship. So, we have, or ships plural, but I think I'll just have enough to refit the Enterprise here. Yeah. So, let's do the hull, and let's do weapons. <laughs> That's as much as we can do, unfortunately. Maybe engines a little bit? No, we don't, don't have enough. So that's all I'm going to upgrade. Let's go back to Brown's fleet. I don't know what the name of this upcoming mission is. We're about to find out. And let me just double check that I actually am recording because that would be embarrassing if that was not the case. I am. I think we're good to go. I will hit engage and hopefully we'll get a cool cutscene. Captain's log, star date 7106.7. Our conflict with the Klingons has escalated. Their new cloaking technology has given them a tactical edge, making them bolder with every victory. The decision to make use of the modified cloak I procured from the Romulans two years ago has proven disappointing. Efforts to deploy the technology nearly resulted in the loss of the USS Phoenix. Our troubles don't end there. Starfleet Intelligence has located a new Klingon weapons platform in the Cathra system Unfortunately, the whole of the Klingon fleet would detect and intercept us before we could reach it and take it out. Forced to improvise, I have been given command of a small task force to attempt capture of a Klingon prototype vessel we believe is being built here in the Maker system. Starfleet Intelligence believes it's equipped with a more advanced cloak that even the Klingons can't penetrate. If we can secure this craft, we may still be able to use it to find out exactly what the Klingons are up to. Enterprise, this is Outpost Orpheus. We've been monitoring enemy comm traffic in the region. We can confirm what you're looking for is definitely here. Excellent, Orpheus. 
Are you prepared to transmit the jamming signal? We're ready to throw a net over their communications on your order. Getting in won't be difficult, sir. But getting out with one of their ships will. It's time to seize the initiative. I hope they'll be so taken off guard that we can move in and take what we need. Anything else I should be aware of? We've detected some Klingon outposts orbiting its planets. If you stay clear, you should be well out of their range. Perhaps we could turn them to our advantage. If I can get a landing party on board, we might be able to create a defensive screen as we exit the system. Good luck, Enterprise, and good hunting. The first thing I want to talk about is I do not know how they expect, or how Kirk expects, to overpower those outposts with just a boarding team. I mean, I know there are 400-some crew members aboard the Enterprise, but the size of those outposts, just judging by the amount of windows they have, uh, they're gigantic. <laughs> so you can't defeat 300, 400, 500 Klingons with 20 security officers. Um, but it's not my place to shoot down his theories. We'll see if they work. Uh, so we have to capture and secure the prototype bird of prey, and the secondary is, of course, the Apo stations, leading to the Maka shipyards. Any hints? Send away teams, clear your path, help in your retreat. I like it. Treating is preferable to fighting. Well, except for the fact that I have four very powerful Federation starships, uh, I think I'll be fine. Technology is all that matters. Starfleet Intelligence has discovered that the Klingons are developing a new, more powerful cloaking device in the Makis system. They've used their shipyards to equip a bird of prey with the prototype device, but the ship's core systems aren't completely online yet. Capturing the prototype ship before it comes online would give Starfleet a leg up in the conflict with the Klingons. And I like the title, The Squeeze. Okay, so that is basically what that entire cutscene already told us. Okay, this is not an Enterprise, this is the Constitution, although sometimes the game does kind of bug out. Yes, you've already said that. Select all vessels here, and... Yes, yes, yes. Yep. So, the first shipyard, or starbase, I'm going to... No, 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 no. Please do not move on your own. Thank you. I'm thinking we want to hit the... Yeah, the station right by this class L. And then... Take out that D3, will likely attract the attention of the D7s. And this guy's already moving, so that's... Oh. Really appreciate all the background chatter. Let's just go on impulse. Full power to uh, weapons and shields. Here's the Federation class, here's the, yeah, Proxima class, not a window in sight. Well, no, on the bridge between the secondary hall, you do see a few. Okay. Yes, yes. Actually, let's target this guy while we're... Oh, actually, full power to shields. We might need more of those. Transport! Sir, landing party here. We've secured the outpost. We'll begin preparing her defenses in case they'll be needed. Isn't that cool? Oh, now it's his Enterprise. Oh. As that ship goes crashing into the planet. D7. Not a problem. Power back to weapons and shields. I do love the look of the D7. I always have. Though it's kind of hard to see it when it's on fire. There we go. 
Heck, let's just take out all of the Klingon ships that come near us, and then we won't have to fight them on the way back. I know, I'm clever. Also, one way that original series vessels stand out from the... Uh-oh. We may want to target that D7, because they're targeting our uh, starbase we just captured, and we can't have that. One way original series ships differ from, you know, next generation is the duration of the phaser output. Look at that. We're still shooting after many seconds. So... Very useful when wearing down enemies. Probably switch back to this guy. I think that guy's done. Yep. Be nice if their shields would come back. And actually, our star base is under attack. That's wrong direction. That's not good. I think I might try to help. Sir, we're dropping out of warp. Warping to your coordinates. There we go. Proceeding to warp. Enemy shields are down. A couple of solid hits there. If you don't count the one torpedo that just kept oscillating back and forth. What is that? Oh, that's the station's pulse cannon. That's cool. All good things. Okay. Well, that's done. Let us get out of here. Can I go to the asteroid field? I think it'll just look cool. Hey, there we go. Look at that. And some fireworks. Okay. So our next plan is to... Or the next step of the plan, we're going to attack these two D7 vessels and take this station. With the same group of however many officers it takes to overpower an entire Klingon outpost. Actually, I'm going to target the outpost first, because for some reason, that's easier. Oh, maybe it's less easy, come to think of it. I'm having great difficulty in keeping my shields up. I'd appreciate to, well, now, now I'm just in trouble, actually. I'm gonna very briefly get the heck out of here. And start repairing. Uh, everything. Grab the Federation class here. What are you guys doing? Ticonderoga, standing by. Constitution, standing by. Locked oh. Lasers. Moving into attack position. Setting course now. Sir, landing party here. We've secured the outpost. We'll begin preparing her defenses in case they'll be needed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad they'll be able to take maybe one hit. Uh, I should have paid more attention. It's okay, we've still got one more outpost left that maybe we won't destroy. Yeah, whoops. Really nice job on this heavy cruiser model. I have one of the um, original series. Oh, I forgot this ship. Oh no, there. Yep. See, that's that's what happens when you don't pay attention to what you're shooting at. Well, there went some very brave men and women. Anyway, I have one of the original series technical manuals, and uh, so far this thing looks like it meets the specifications. Oh no. This is Enterprise. 
guys. Well, I've just messed everything up. Come to think of it, let me <laughs> let me turn tail and go home. No, let me come on. Warp engines. Thank you. Okay, this was this is not good. I have crippled my ships. And I think that was actually from the blast... Well, I don't know if it was the blast of the exploding Klingon vessel, or from uh, the starbase that went kaboom, that I destroyed, more or less. Wait, it's not good. No, please don't do that. So here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to take this guy, who looks fine on the outside, and have him... Hold on, actually, let me do this. Uh, two... Okay. Have them all head towards the station, but this guy is going to get special treatment, and he'll be repaired by the shipyard here. And you also get to be repaired. There we go, all one happy family. Unless... Commencing repairs. Okay, Wait he forward. is... He is going in. This is good news. Well, during this hiatus, I am going to take the time to not bother you with waiting for my ship to be repaired because of my own stupidity. And I will be back when my ships are back in tip-top shape. I shall return. I have returned, the ships are repaired. And it is our next step to... All power to the shields. I shot Take down this station. Resuming course. Let's actually jump. Not jump. Warp. That's what we do in this universe. Proceeding to warp. Just wish we could do it faster. Heading set. Come on, you're aligned. Affording warp, Captain. To attack position. Engaging target. Engaging target. Load torpedo tube. Stand by to launch. I advise saving the proton torpedoes for close range, Captain. Enemy shields are down. Energize transporter beams. Fire phasers on my command. Engaging target. Come on, please stop shooting. Sir, landing party here. We've secured the outpost. We'll begin preparing her defenses in case they'll be needed. Okay, that one's Landing only half out. dead. So that's good. Okay. So we have the outposts. These two of them. Now the question is... Let's actually not do that. Do we want to do a full frontal assault on the Klingons? Or swoop in, get a tractor lock on the ship, and then swoop out? Change my mouse sensitivity here. Wow, how do you even pronounce that? Huh. Now they have another starbase here, which I am moderately concerned about. Resuming course. At the same time, I think we can do a frontal assault. I think, uh, resuming course. If I get close enough, I can draw them away from that station, and I'm pretty sure I can take them. They do have a ravenous class, but I have warships, so I think I'm okay. I am concerned about the fact that my shields are down on that outpost as of yet, but there's not much I can do except wait, and I am tired of waiting. So let's draw them away. I am not certain as to what 
effects that nebula may have, but we may want to consider that as a hiding spot. Not that I'm one for hiding. Come on, Klingons. You have to see me. I see you. Right there. Nothing. Hmm. What about that? Let's toss a torpedo your way. Huh? We have torpedo lock. I disrupt a well, we'll be the last they see me. See Time to go. That's it. The prototype is clearing the space dock. We'll have to disable its engines to tow it back to Orpheus. Lock phasers. This is Enterprise. Awaiting orders. Enemy vessel detected. Fire phasers at will. Mighty is the Klingon Empire. I'm not sure if I can keep up with them. I can't keep up with them. Full power to engines. Come on. I mean, <laughs> he's not going to make this easy. Full power to shields, please. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Nope. Is the Klingon Empire. This is Enterprise. Moving into attack position. I don't recall this we being this difficult. Lock. Moving into attack position. This is Enterprise. Fire phasers on my command. Fire phasers on my command. All I can see are the- ah! Now my cursor showed up. That did not happen before, and that's why I don't like the subsystem targeting, because the cursor doesn't always show up. And that's kind of a problem when, you know, you have to lock onto subsystems. Okay, you can- you can stop shooting now. And I'm no longer locked onto... ...the engines. Okay, guys, new plan. You skedaddle, skedaddle, get out, Their go away. Drive is offline. Now's our chance. Okay. Get a tractor beam on that ship and prepare to head back to Orpheus. Well, that was just luck. Resuming course. Full power to engines. Force on the tractor beam is within parameters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Klingon vessel is in tow, but it's slow going. Sensors detect multiple enemy targets converging on our position. We're severely outnumbered. This is going to be a fighting retreat. Protect the ship in tow. We have to get her back to Orpheus. Cool. I can try that. Will be the last thing you ever see again. On our way. Bring these guys back. Constitution standing by. Come on. Initiating warp. Lock phasers. Full power to weapons. Let us get out of here. Constitution standing by. Oh, we got some lag happening. By. That's cool. 
Let's do that less. Oh my goodness. Wait. Huh. Okay, interesting. Not sure what's causing the slowdown in frames here. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's not who I expected to be right there. This is Enterprise. We have the Klingon vessel in tow. Prepare to receive us. Orpheus here. We are prepared for your arrival, Enterprise. Again, I'm not sure what's causing the slowdown here. How's Enterprise doing? Just fine. No line go over here. We've got it. Our mission is a success. We've done it. We've done it. Mission successful. Well, the squeeze took just under half an hour. Uh, we took out... Well, it wasn't zero ships. Um, it wasn't all of them. But it was not an insignificant amount. And I think we did pretty well. We didn't lose any vessels, despite almost losing uh, two of our ships. That one Constitution class was dangerously close. Uh, it could have gone better, but I think it went fairly well. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of The Squeeze and the Star Trek Legacy campaign, well then please be sure to leave this video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, well then please subscribe because usually at least once a month there's a new video of Star Trek Legacy on this channel. If for whatever reason you guys did not enjoy this video, I do apologize for that and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I produce so that hopefully you guys will find some enjoyment when you watch them. And I look forward to recording more Star Trek Legacy campaign missions in the future. I think we're getting to uh, the more interesting sections of the campaign. I played through it once a long, long time ago. Uh, using no mods at all, and then I started to play it with the Ultimate Universe mod, and that series is still up, but I never finished because I had to wipe my computer before I finished. So we are slowly making our way back through the campaign missions, and hopefully I will get through all of them with the Ultimate Universe mod. I'm excited to see what I can do with all of these interesting ships that are provided. So I hope that all of you are having a phenomenally wonderful day. I hope that uh, you're enjoying the holiday season. We only have a couple days till Christmas here. And I hope that you are all doing well. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta. And I will see you next time. <laughs>